All right, good afternoon everybody. It's Dave Gobe with Compass Real Estate in Truckee, California. Today I'm at 51156 Conifer in Soda Springs. And there's our property right there. Here's a little bit of the scene here. So this is Conifer right there. This is the main entrance into Plavada right here. And we do have some road noise from Highway 80, which is actually pretty typical for this neighborhood. Let's uh, take a look at this property. So we've got a recently resealed driveway here. It's in very nice condition. And this home is a A-frame gable style cabin. We've got a stairway up to the deck. We'll see that in a second. There's the entry down to the basement area that we'll see in a second. We're going to go in through the front entrance of this home here. Got a very nice little stone stairway. Probably a little treacherous in the winter, and that's why they have that other stairwell that we just saw. A little deck off the entrance here. Go in the front door. So this property is a vacation rental and is currently in the process of being turned over. So it's a bit of uh, work in progress with regards to being cleaning. We enter in here, in the front entry. And the Vicasa people are working very hard to get this ready for the next renters, so the washing machine's going. But here's our laundry. Here's our hot water heater. Here's our forced air unit. All right. So back out of here, we'll close this door. Okay, this is our entry. We've got a seating area there. Take off the boots, take off the jackets. And then a very welcoming great room with a gas burner. Stove in the corner there. Our stairs upstairs to the loft. And very nice gable, all windows. Two sliding glass doors out to the deck. We've got our wall mounted TV. This home has dual plane aluminum windows. These are updated sliding doors out to a good sized deck. Great spot for the barbecue. Again, that's the stairway that we saw. That so I would imagine that this is really the main entrance of the house. This is used most of the time. Okay, back in here, we've got our dining area and a kitchen. The kitchen looks like it has the original cabinetry. It's been painted, but it has been updated with granite countertops. Uh, it's a very nice stainless steel range. Stainless steel dishwasher, trash compactor. We don't see too many of those these days. And a fridge. Nice sink full of dirty dishes from Picasso renters. Home renters are kind of a bummer these days, but anyways. Uh, we've got a engineered hardwood floor. And that goes downstairs. We'll go down there in a second. <clears throat> okay, on the main floor here, we've got bathroom number one, single vanity, toilet, and stand-up shower with a Glass enclosure, nice ceiling detail with the exposed beam. Okay, bedroom number one here. We've got forced air heat and a baseboard heater for some supplemental heat. Again, we've got this very nice beam and knotty pine wood decking detail. It's a decent sized closet. This appears to be a full size bed. Okay, then bedroom number two. Bedroom number two. Got a couple of bunks in here and another full size bed. And again, that ceiling detail throughout. Another full-size closet. And let's take a tour quick downstairs. Okay, downstairs. Versatile space down here. It's a low ceiling. But this would be a good storage area, game room. It's partially finished. Concrete floor, sheetrock on the walls. Uh, plenty of electrical receptacles, recessed lights. Then we've got a bit of an unfinished space over here. And then this is basically the same footprint as the whole house, the big basement. Looks like they're using this area for storage. Good place to tune the skis. We could maybe even get a snowmobile in here. Plenty of extra room. There's a sn uh, snowblower. Probably get them to throw that in the deal. Okay, let's cruise upstairs. <clears throat> Okay, back through the main room. 
Let's take a look at these vaulted ceilings. Naughty pine detail throughout. And a quick trip upstairs. Overlooking the great room, we have a little loft area. Very bright, lots of light, lots of windows. They've got it furnished with a little pullout here. Again, overlooking that beautiful gable front wall with lots of windows. Bath number two at the top of the stairs. <coughs> Excuse me. About the same as bath number one. Single vanity, toilet, stand-up tub and shower, glass enclosure, and then finally what would be, I guess, the master bathroom, or master bedroom, pardon me, even though it doesn't have the ensuite bath, but that's easy to fix. Uh, lots of windows in here too. Lots of light. Oh, that window's cracked. Need to get that repaired. A door out to the back. Some closets in the wall. Another closet over there. And then this exterior balcony. Let's cruise out here and check it out. Hey, okay. here's our nice setting at the rear of the property. Beautiful Plavada, wooded setting. Freeway noise is, is prevalent. And down the stairs we go. Those look a little funky. So kind of an interesting deck detail back here. We just went down a winding staircase at the back of the house. And this other little deck is kind of detached. Not a feature you see too common, but pretty interesting. And then access back down to grade. Ah, what's this? <clears throat> oh, cool. This looks like <clears throat> possibly an old cement culvert piece that they've turned into what could be potentially an outdoor fireplace. And over here underneath some plywood. Oh, <clears throat> hmm. That's bolted on there. Maybe that was a table at one point? I don't know. Intriguing. Okay, that's the back of the house. Lots of nice vegetation. Right, and here we are. Back where we started, back at the front door. And that's that. If you have any questions, please give me a call. 530-575-8737. Hope everyone's doing great.